AI, otherwise known as artificial intelligence, is a really useful tool for website owners. I've been using it for quite some time to help me output more content, to overcome writer's block, and just generally publish more to my website. But it turns out I've only been scratching the surface and AI is way more powerful than just content creation. GPT version four was released this week and I've been playing around with ChatGPT to see what else we can use this fantastic tool for to help us improve our websites. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you six surprising ways that you can use ChatGPT to make your website better than it's ever been before. Now, before we jump into them, I should just say that I'm using a Chrome plugin to improve my ChatGPT experience. The plugin is this one. You can get it over at the Chrome extension store and it's called AIPRM. And yeah, just install it into your browser and it makes ChatGPT way more useful. So let's jump into the six great ways that you can use ChatGPT to improve your website. The first one is really useful at the very beginning of your website project. You know, when you're trying to think of an idea for a domain name, you're kind of scratching around on GoDaddy or Namecheap typing things in and can't come up with any good ideas and the ones that you do come up with, well, they're already taken. Well, now we have an easy way to find a great domain name. Take a look at this. It's the domain name idea generator. You simply type in your niche and it will churn out about a hundred .com domain names that are really good and that are available. Slight caveat on that, obviously ChatGPT only knows stuff from 2021. So if the domain's been registered since then, it won't be available. But generally, and I've gone through a few of these lists, I've found that, yeah, most of the domains are available, but some aren't. But I can guarantee you'll find one that's really good and a perfect fit for your project using this tool. So once you've got a fantastic domain name with the help of AI, the next thing you're gonna start thinking about is the structure of your website. And it can be kind of hard to figure out what silos you need. By the way, a silo is a organized area of the website around a particular topic often the category within WordPress. But yeah, you've got to think about how your silo structure is going to fit and just the general hierarchy of your site. Well, alas, again, AI is here to help us with this fantastic prompt from ARPRM. You just type in your niche and it prepares a fantastic site structure for you, including silos where you can put your content. After you've got your structure, you're going to want to start to think about your topics basically some ideas for your content. And I think personally, this could be the end of keyword research tools because ChatGPT can do all the keyword research for you. It can give you volume numbers. It can give you competition levels. I mean, just take a look. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, just type in a seed keyword and it will give you a whole load of ideas for content and for keywords. So once you've got your site set up and you've probably created a lot of the content you just researched using AI, you're gonna to wanna to start thinking about the authority of your website and increasing the authority so that you get better rankings on Google. Now, of course, the best way to do this is through links, but link building's kind of tricky. Uh, you've got to prospect, you've got to do outreach, you've got to find places that will give you a link, and yeah, that can all take a lot of time. ChatGPT can help you with this, especially when it comes to guest posts. So a guest post is where you find a site that is looking for content, you create a fantastic bit of content and you send it to them, they publish it, and hopefully they include a link back to your website. So with ChatGPT, with this prompt from ARPM, you just, again, type in your niche and it will give you a full list of websites that are open to guest posts in suit suitable niches or complementary niches to your own. It will also give you the name of the site. It will give you the contact email address so that you can do the outreach and basically everything you need in one easy table. I was really impressed with this. I mean, of course, you need to create some emails to do your outreach, which of course, ChatGPT could help you with those as well. And you've got to send out the emails, but it does take away a bit of the legwork when it comes to finding perfect sites to target. Talking about SEO, let's move on to the next thing, which is an SEO audit. Now there's a number of prompts in ARPM for ChatGPT that allow you to do an SEO audit. I like this one. Uh, basically you give it a URL of your site and it will give you a lot of analysis about about your eat, about your uh, content, about your site structure, basically everything you need to do. And it will then allow you to go through and improve your site so that you basically do better on the search engines. Again, similar to keyword research, for this kind of stuff, you would generally have to pay for an SEO tool. And if you've ever looked at any SEO tools like Ahrefs, 
or SEM Rush, you'll know they're quite expensive. So this is really, really cool and really, really handy that you can now do it for free with ChatGPT. The final point I wanna leave you with is this one, which basically allows you to analyze a URL and summarize the information that's within that URL. So it could be a piece of your own content. Maybe you're looking to add summary at the end or at the beginning of the content to make it easier to read. And yeah, ChatGPT will take a look at the article and it will give you a clear list of bullet points about what that article is about. I think this could also be really useful when you're doing research, because you can bring up an article on someone else's site, rather than having to read it all yourself and kind of summarize it, just get ChatGPT to do it. It can take a look and in a few seconds, it will give you the key points in bullet points so you can easily learn about whatever it is you're researching. So there we have it. There are my surprising ways that you can use ChatGPT to improve your website. Uh, what are you using ChatGPT or AI for to help you with your website? Do let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get. I'd love to hear from you and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. We're definitely living in a very exciting time in terms of this tech revolution with AI. So if that's what you're into, I'm gonna be doing way more videos on AI and everything that's happening right now. So make sure you don't miss out. Click the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you all soon. Until next time, good luck with your sites.